Hi everybody. This week on Reflective Hands. What to do when Nico mash up your life. Come away with me. Part 3. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray this afternoon that this word, mighty God, as usual, as you have placed it on my heart, as you have impacted my heart, as you have allowed me to go through this situation to be able to minister this word unto the hearts of your children, I pray that it will be impactful. I pray that it will be beneficial. I pray that it will encourage as many persons as possible, those who will watch or listen today, tomorrow, whenever. Hallelujah. I pray, God Almighty, that this word will change and enrich the hearts of your children. Father, I ask these mercies in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right. So this week on Reflective Hands, as I said, it's entitled, Come Away With Me, Part 3. The reflective verse is taken from Psalm 61, verse says 1 to 2, and it says, Hear my cry, O God attend to my prayer from the end of the earth i call to you from jamaica from canada from us the usa from the caribbean islands i call to you when my heart lord is overwhelmed lead me to the rock that is higher than i now in a world and on a journey that usually is bombarded by so many chaotic situations it, is, it has difficult situations that a lot of times they don't have any meaning they don't have a clear reason for us to be experiencing them yes david or the psalmist he encourages us to change our perspective he encourages to change our position to change our posture and as you realize I changed my my physical space you know I'm on top of my neighbor's roof <laughs> yes and um, I wanted to just you know share this lesson with us this afternoon the psalmist charges us to be led allow ourselves to be led to the rock that is higher than we are what's the benefit of being led to the rock anyways now most of us would have had some kind of interaction with a rock whether it was a small rock or a big rock whatever it was yes now a rock it tends to one be very hard and sturdy so yes it's a place where we can lean on it's a place where we can rest on it's a place where we can depend on it when you use a rock to cotch something or if it is that we want to cotch ourselves on the rock it tends to be able to hold our body weight or hold whatever body weight or whatever weight we are using it to embrace right so the rock is hard and it is sturdy and we can lean and rest on it secondly the rock being on the rock creates an elevated view for us so there are some bees around it creates an elevated view for us yes and so as I'm on my neighbor's roof right now I'm able to see so many houses around me I'm able to see trees that I'm not able to see from inside my home I'm able to see cars I'm able to see different roads I'm able to see just a variety of things just by being on an elevated platform yes being on a place where it is lower I would not be able to have this vantage point right and so the, the, the psalmist is encouraging us to get higher in God change our position stop looking at things the way we or society or family or whoever it is tends to see them get to a place where we can see things through the eyes of God the way God sees them the way God desires for us to see them so secondly being on an being on the rock gives us an elevated view we are able to see farther and we're able to see wider than our average viewpoint would ever have allowed the third thing about being led to the rock and this is my favorite part it allows the weight to be lifted now for those of us who are familiar or who would have had some kind of interactions with 
science we know that the higher you go it is the less less weight that exists on that body or on that matter and so things tend to float the higher you go into space which is why astronauts tend to float around we watch the movies and we watch the videos astronauts tend to float around right whenever it is they are in space and so when we get to a place of higher when we get to the place where the rock is hallelujah the weight of the of the pressures of life the weight of the anxieties the weight of the stresses that we are considering about becomes lighter because God takes us to a place and he takes those burdens away he takes us to a place where the burdens that are around us do not have to overwhelm us as much he takes away that weight and he gives us something much lighter he causes us to float he causes us just to rest where he is being at a place of higher lifts the weight of our anxieties and our burdens from us and i thank the lord for this as the psalmist penned these words i can imagine that his vision you know was to remind us that when nico mash up your life yes when studying gets hard when problems at church and work and home and just your average life becomes overwhelming when things try to the things you try to excel at just keeps failing when relationships with family and friends just now go as how you would have wanted to go when you do not have enough money to pursue the dreams or the plans that the lord would have laid on your heart to do when life just feels unfair to you allow yourselves to be led to the rock know when it is that you ought to retreat from people know when it is you ought to retreat from the everyday functions the everyday doings know when it is to pack your bags know when it is to get your book and your bible and you find a space to retreat with the lord know when to be led to the rock the rock that is higher than I. The rock is a place where we can lean on. It's a place where we can rest. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is a place where we can get fresh air, just like how we get beer fresh air right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a place where we can get refreshed in the realms of the spirit. We can get refreshed in our hearts. We can have a new outlook and a new understanding of life. I would just feel excited and ready to go again. Thank you, Jesus. It's a place where we can see better. We get a better view. We get to see much more. We get to see things the way God sees them. Thank you, Lord. And finally, being on the rock that is higher than we are allows the weight, the burden, the overwhelming feelings of life to become much lighter. Won't you allow yourself to be led to the rock? Hear our cries, O oh God, hallelujah, as we pray. May you, Father, attend unto our prayers from the ends of the earth, God, all over this island, all over Instagram, all over Facebook, all over YouTube, all over WhatsApp. We cry to you, Abba. Our hearts are overwhelmed, but may you, O oh God Almighty, lead us to the rock, the rock that is higher than we are. Thank you Jehovah God that you have created this place for us we thank you Jehovah God that you have created mighty God a, a, a package for us to receive when we get to that place it's like you know checking into a five-star hotel although I've never been one I've never been to one before it's like checking into a five-star hotel and you know you're going to get your food you're going I can imagine you're going to get your food, you're going to get um, cable, you're going to get wine, you're going to get all the fancy stuff that comes with that package. When we retreat and we pursue or we seek to get to the place that is higher, that place where God is, he gives us a full package in exchange for the burden that we would have taken to him. May that be the prayer of your heart as you proceed throughout this day, as you proceed throughout the rest of this week, as you proceed on your journey with the Lord, be led to the rock that is higher than you are. Take care. This was Reflective Hands. Um, 
and as as some of you would already know reflective hand seeks to take the practical things of life and help to bring out the lessons from the word of god i also seek to take testimonies or experiences from my own life you know and share them with others because my story is always for god's glory i trust that you have been blessed and um i i hope to see you guys next week or whenever it is that i will share something from god's heart to us um god bless you take care have a great rest of the day oh i'm malika smith <laughs> all right so take care everybody